there, it's your girl Zorochi, and welcome to episode 11 of my guitar collection. So this is another one of the non-guitar episodes. In this one, I'm going to be talking about my Hora Bajuki. What's interesting about these instruments is it's spelled with a Z and sometimes you pronounce it Bazuki and sometimes you pronounce it Bajuki. I haven't really figured out exactly when you're supposed to say which one, but Bajuki seems like the more correct way to say it. So I've been saying it that way and hoping people on the internet don't rage on me too hard. Um, I got this instrument because I played the mandolin for a while and I really wanted to get an octave mandolin because I thought that they sounded really, really cool, but I couldn't find any that were really very affordable. Um, a lot of the octave mandolins I found were around $1,000. And when I wasn't sure if I wanted the instrument or not, or if I'd enjoy it long-term, it was really hard to justify that investment. So I looked around for a bit, kind of put it at the back of my mind of like, oh man, maybe one day I'll find one, maybe another day I won't, who knows. But I found this one used locally, as I do, for very, very cheap. And I picked it up because I was like, hey, a bajuki is essentially an octave mandolin. They're a very similar scale size. It fits in a banjo case, actually. So I carry it around in a banjo case when I take it to like open mics and live performances and stuff like that. But I haven't done any modifications to this one other than filing down the bridge like I do with all my acoustic instruments. Again, when you get an acoustic instrument from the store or what have you, usually the bridge is too high and it just needs to be filed down. It's a pretty easy thing to do, but if you go too far, you gotta buy a new bridge. That's just kind of how it goes. So I got it set up, I got it intonated well, and I've really been enjoying playing it. This Bajuki is created by Hora. It's just a cheap brand, but honestly, for what it is, I think it sounds pretty good, both plugged in and unplugged. The cool part is it's got a pickup in it, so I can actually plug it in directly to, you know, PA systems or to my audio interface to be able to plug it into my DAW and even as like an EQ on here, like most of the acoustic guitars have. So it's been a really awesome instrument. If you're looking for a Bajuki or an octave mandolin that's super cheap, and doesn't break the bank, I would really recommend going with a Hora one. I think that this instrument's really great. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, stay heavy my friends.